Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Dell Boomi training by Unopix. In today's session, I'm going to give you an overview of Dell Boomi integration screen. So once you log into platform.boomi.com, if you click on services and open the integration screen, so this is exactly how it's going to look like. So there won't be too many options that you get to see. You see a sidebar, you see a dashboard build and other options here. And even within the components, you would see a lot of options here. And it can get confusing for a, for a, uh, for a beginner, especially if you are starting off with Dell Boomi for the first time. So I'll just take uh, three to five minutes and uh, explain what options uh, you have in this particular screen. Let's log into platform.boomi.com. Uh, and I'll just show you from a sign-in page. So you need to access platform.boomi.com, enter your username and password. At the moment you sign in, you see a home page. And from our home page, how do you access the integration track? You can either click on this integration services or you can click on the services and open it in a new tab, open it in a new window. Now that would take you to the integration screen. And when you come into the screen, so you see, you see too many options in here, right? So the first thing that you see is a sidebar and it would be minimized by default. If you want to expand it, you can click on this arrow mark to expand the sidebar. And what are the options that you get to see? You see that there's an option to create a new component. And what all components can you build in a integration flow in Dell Boomi? So you can build a process, you create a connection, API service, trading partner. So these are all the components, various components that you can use within the integration that you're going to build in Dell Boomi. And as we progress in the tutorials, uh, I'll show you how to use most of these components. So yes, you can create a new component by clicking on the type here. You can pick and choose what components you want to use or what component you want to create. And uh, you also have an option to access a process library from here. So when you want to create, a, when you have to create a new integration, before you go ahead and create it from scratch, you can access a process library and see if somebody else has already created the same process that you that you are about to build. Okay, so if you scroll down here, you see hundreds of the process, integration process already created and published. Say for example, if I have to understand how to connect to SAP HANA database, you could see that there's already a process library published by a vendor here. I can just install this process and I can see uh, how exactly I can interact with SAP HANA database from a Dell Boom integration. So the best thing with these, uh, with these uh, use cases is that you see in a process library, it saves quite a bit of time for you. You don't have to uh, reinvent the wheel and build everything from scratch. You can just come here, search for uh, the process that you need. Say for example, if I have to build something related to Oracle, I just come in here, I type in Oracle and you see the Oracle examples or the process that, that are available here. And if you scroll down here, you would be able to see the search results. So since I type in Oracle, I could see examples related to Oracle Fusion, database, CBS, and so on. So for example, if I have to build an integration related to Salesforce, I type in Salesforce, I would be able to see all the Salesforce related integrations here. So all I have to do is, yes, before you build your integration flow, come into the process library. There's a eight in 10 chance that somebody else would have already created an integration that you're about to build in which case you don't need to build it again. Click on install here. Against each process that you see here, there is an option to install it. And all you have to do is the moment, the moment you hit the install button, that particular process would be installed onto your, into your project. Okay, so that's a, a benefit of using pro process library. And you also see a component explorer as well. So when you click on Component Explorer, so this is this is where you see the components that, that you have created. And uh, when you click on it, it gets expanded. And when you click on it one more time, it gets, yeah. You can use this to either expand or minimize the Component Explorer. And you can also close the sidebar. And when you come in here, yes, uh, we, we do have an option to see few dashboards here. 
since we have yet to build uh, uh, our first integration in Delgumi, does it make sense to get into the dashboards now? Because you would you would see a lot of terms in those dashboards that that you don't understand. Like you see uh, you see terms like atom, environment, or status, and so on. So uh, towards the back end of the tutorial series, I will uh, take you into these dashboards so that you understand what those terms mean. Yes, you have an option to build the integrations from here, and uh, so when you click on build, nothing ha nothing is happening. That's because uh, by default, when you click on integrations, you would be in a build tab. And from here, yes, you can create your own project. You can create your own folder. That's what we usually do. Create a new folder, and I'll say, you know, it's then go me demo sessions and I save it. So that's how you create a new folder and uh, whatever uh, components that I'm going to create as part of this tutorial series, I'm going to put them into this. So yes, you can rename a folder, you can copy it or delete it, and you can also create another subfolder within this. And when you say new component, yes, whatever integrations that we're going to build, starting off from the next, uh, from, the, from the next video onwards, I'm going to show you how to build various integrations covering different use cases in Dell Boom. And we would, uh, all we do is we come into this folder and we would create that new integration process into this. We'll, we'll put it into the same folder. Now we do have an option and, and you also need to be clear on the access control. So I created this folder. Who would be able to access this folder now? You can control it from the permissions tab. So if you go to permissions, only the roles which are assigned, only the roles which are uh, assigned to this particular folder, the folder uh, would be uh, only only those people would be able to access this particular folder. Say, for example, if I create an integration and put in this folder, who would be able to access it? Only the administrators, because we don't have any assigned roles. Say, for example, if I go ahead and add a standard user role, standard user role as an assigned role to this one. So, which means any user who logs into this uh, this particular uh, Atom Sphere account of Delgumi, and if that user has a standard user role assigned, then that user would be able to see the folder and they would also be able to make some modifications as well. The SN roles will be able to modify the folder or the components. And if you don't have, um, say for example, if a different user logs in, and if that user is not a standard user, maybe he has a support role assigned, yes, that user would still be able to see the see the folder and they would also be see the, able to see the components as well, whatever integrations that I'm going to put in here. The support user would also see them, but they cannot make any changes whatsoever. Yeah. So key thing here is, uh, yes, you create a folder and you do the access control directly from here. So you can control who can see your components and who can uh, edit them as well. And a build, this is a screen where you spend 70% of your time in real time building various integration process as for the client requirements. And after you build them, uh, we do have an option to package them and deploy the integration process. And you can also create packs as well. And uh, once you do all of that, you would come into the manage now. So as we progress uh, further, we will talk about the options available in the other two tabs as well. And what are the options that you get to see as soon as you create, as soon as you come into an integration zone page, you see a straight away, uh, you see an option to create an integration. I can pick a source application and target applications. So for example, if I have to integrate Salesforce, Salesforce with SAP. So I would click on source application and I would pick up Salesforce here. And it would create, I would have to create a new connection and configure it. And then I would have to select a target application. And if I have to say integrated with Oracle Fusion Cloud, I can go ahead and select it. And again, I need to create a configuration and I can go ahead and build the integration flow. So you have a, you have a quick start option to build an integration from here. You have a quick start option. So if, if you have to integrate only two, uh, two applications, you have got only one source and one target, you can quickly get started by selecting the source and target applications from here. And you can also mention what sort of action you can perform on a source and on the target as well. So for example, whenever a customer is created in Salesforce, so we want to create a customer in ERP Cloud, Oracle Fusion, how do you do it? You select Salesforce, 
you say source action, search records, and what record are we interested in, account record, and what exactly do we want to perform in ERP? We want to execute an action, and we want to go ahead and create a customer there. Okay, so you can make use of a quick start option if you want. Otherwise, you can hide the quick start, and uh, you can create an integration from scratch here. So if you want to build an integration from scratch, that's exactly what you need to do, hit that button. And when you hit that button, it would create a new integration process, new integration process from scratch. You can go ahead and click on home page to get to see the menu again. And if you want to explore a process library, remember I've shown you uh, a process library here, right? So the same navigation option also shows here. So if you don't want to build an integration from scratch and if you want to leverage uh, the process library, see if somebody has already created that integration, you can access a process library from here as well. And uh, yes, in this particular screen, you get to see all the components that you have edited recently, typically the process. And uh, from the next session, uh, we would get started with the building integrations in Dell Boom. Those are typically called as processes.